Good morning guys. I just pulled over by the park and I'm drinking my coffee and it's 9 a.m. and I came here intentionally. I never do this but first of all I just wanted to talk to you and I just needed a quiet place and the second reason is that I am trying to shake up my routine a little bit. A lot has been going on lately and you guys always ask me where did I go when I'm not posting and I'll tell you but I'm afraid that it's going to turn into a little therapy session but I won't ramble for too much I promise. And I know that everyone is going through something always and these are challenging times and honestly this notion helps me to get through stuff. Among other things, we have been experiencing health issues. Um, we like the whole family and I'm not gonna go into detail because it's just gonna take a while. I'll walk you through our past couple of months in a few words. My son got sick, then two weeks later, my husband had surgery. Then a week after he had surgery, all of us contracted COVID and we stayed home for three weeks. And then almost two weeks ago, my son came down with tonsillitis. He got all needed treatment and seemed fine. And then he went to daycare for one day and he came back with a fever. And since then, it just spiraled. For two days, we couldn't bring his temperature lower than 38 degrees Celsius. And it would go back up to 39.6 pretty fast. And when you see your lively kid lying in bed all day, it's just breaks your heart. He's still sick, but obviously better, otherwise I wouldn't be sitting here vlogging. You know, when you get sick, you just feel tired and then you need a couple of days to get back on track, but when one of your loved ones gets sick, especially your child, it just stresses you out so much and stress in turn causes so many other problems. It messes with your sleep, with your head, it impairs your health and this is just to name a few. For me, I always feel out of it and exhausted after experiencing some stressful moments and uh, it's very hard for me to get back on track and pull myself together. You know, a funny thing that I've noticed, whenever you think that you have everything figured out, established a good personal and work routine and you start making plans, life always throws you a curveball. And I mean, just in a day-to-day -day life, when some unpleasant things happen and they always happen, I'm pretty good at not paying attention to them and just managing and navigating my way through things. But I guess just like every other mother, I can't control myself and my emotions when it comes to my baby and his well-being. About COVID, I know you will have some questions. Um, thank God for us, it wasn't something out of the ordinary. It was like the flu. I got sick first and the first three days were the hardest. I had a fever and I felt like I'd been hit by a truck. And then three days later, all of my family, my mom, my husband, my son got the symptoms. We were tested and it turned out that everyone had COVID. And there was something that I had never ever experienced in my life before. I lost my sense of taste and smell completely for seven days. It was the weirdest thing ever. Over the course of one day, I gradually lost those senses. And by the next morning, I couldn't taste or smell a thing. And let me tell you, it sucked. It was bad enough that I felt terrible, but it was worse that I couldn't smell or taste anything. By the end of the second day, I started feeling something like at the back of my tongue when I ate something sour. It was almost like the back of my tongue reacted to that taste. And I tasted salt. Um, not being able to taste was frustrating but not being able to smell was way worse you never understand how important something is until you lose it because without my sense of smell i felt disoriented something funny was also happening with my mom's and my husband's sense of smell it was on and off but never disappeared completely anyway it's all good now okay i think that's enough venting thanks for listening um it was raw but it's real life. I know that you guys understand because we're all dealing with some problems. It's life, we're only human, we have feelings and emotions and talking through our problems is a great way to move past them. It's not weakness because it takes a lot of strength and guts to admit and then talk about your issues. But on a more positive note, we got to catch a nice warm day and go to this place out of town and have a bit of fun in between all this craziness. And I even um, went down a pretty high slide. Well, 
it was high and extreme enough for me and we filmed all that so enjoy you ready hey guys <laughs> hey guys say it again hey guys <laughs> Hey guys, we're just taking a walk. Yeah. Yeah. Resting, having some family quality time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the where are we? Um, the park. In the park in the woods. Yeah. The yes. Woods. The park by the there. woods. Having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> We're having so much fun. <laughs> getting used to this whole vlogging thing and I'm vlogging on my phone because I don't have a vlogging camera but it doesn't matter whenever you have something that you want to talk about or you want to record film just do it just use your phone and do it <laughs> 